Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video, we're going to talk about factors or reasons na masasabi natin pwede ka nang mag-resign sa iyong current job. So by the way, um, I just resigned to my employer a week ago and before that decision happened, I considered a lot of things na make sure na hindi ko patisitihan yung pag-resign ko. Okay, because um, to be honest, my job is, you know, paying me a lot of money and also um, the benefit is good. So it's not really that easy to decide if, you know, I will resign to that company. And uh, okay, let's start now. So I came up to these three factors that you have to consider if you are going to resign. So first one is fulfillment. So you have to consider if you are happy with that company. If you are happy the, with the benefits, with the salary that you are getting, if it's, you know, if it compensate your job, okay? Or yung, yung uh, pagod or your time na nasuspend mo sa company, if tama ba yung, yung bayad nila sa'yo? Yan, you have to consider that. And then, also, you have to consider uh, if that's your field of expertise. For example, um, you want to be an engineer, and you are in a call center company so and then I know that uh, yeah you can get a lot of money sa call center however yung fulfillment mo is hindi mo makukuha doon kasi hindi yun yung field of expertise mo for example if you want to be a DJ right or if you want to be a teacher and you are in a call center company so yes there is happiness but it's not long term and also the fulfillment is not, you know, you cannot get fulfillment out from the job because that's not your field of expertise. Okay, now let's go to the second factor. Backup plan or other source of income. So this is the main problem of, you know, um, some employees today. Like, they're afraid to resign because baka wala silang mapagkukulan ng pera. Especially if they are breadwinner um, in their family. Like, paano nila masasuportahan yung family nila, sa kanilang needs, the food, and everything. That's why there are people na even though they're no longer happy in the company, but still they are, you know, nagtitiis pa rin sila dahil gusto nila na must support pa rin yung needs of family. So, before you resign, guys, you have to make sure that you have another job if you already sign a contract with other company. Pero wag naman yung, yung, ano, uh, you're still um, having contract with this company and then you will sign that to this company because that's already a breach of contract. So, just to make sure na nag-resign ka na or nag-render ka na before, before ka mag- Mag-sign ng contract sa other company or baka pwede mo din ilihim sa company mo. <laughs> Wag mo sabihin sa kanila na nakasign ka. Before, before mo sabihin sa kanila, make sure na end na yung contract mo dahil makakasuhan ka ng breach of contract. And then, um, next is health. Okay. You have to prioritize health. Why? Because health lang ang ating puhunan. Paano tayo makakatrabaho? Paano tayo makakasupport sa family natin if you are not healthy? Okay, so you have to make sure that uh, what you're doing right now is not impacting with your health. Like for example, yung may mga sakit na, na yung hindi naman grabe yung sakit, pero uh, nag nagtatrabaho sa graveyard shift or sa night shift and then their health might be at risk. Or... Maybe um, you have something wrong with your eyes and then you're working like you're working as a call center or you're working as an IT and then you're dealing with computers and then sakit na yung ano mo, yung, yung head mo or yung 
may astigmatism ka. So you have to do something. Pero pag hindi talaga pwede guys, huwag mo nang pilitin. Kasi um, iba, iba pag yung, yung body natin yung naninil sa atin. Mas malaki, mas malaki kaysa sa sahod mo, okay? So you have to prioritize health. And then, for example, not just physical uh, health, but also our mental health. You have to consider that. If if the company or if the environment is already toxic, guys, if, if you're no longer happy and then it's affecting your lifestyle, your, you know, your family, your daily life, your character, your personalities, and also, most importantly, your job. If it's already affecting, you have to decide. But before you resign again you should have a backup plan especially if you are a uh, breadwinner and uh, kasi kapag pag ayaw mo na sa company or ayaw mo na sa mga workmates mo or sa environment and then you will say that I will resign and wala ka pang job paano mo babayaran yung loan mo paano mo masasuportahan yung family mo so make sure na lahat is planado para walang gusot or walang problema um, sa pag mo. Okay? So, I hope guys that this video um, helps you to you know, to decide if what are the things to do. So, if you are struggling sa work, if your problem is just the environment, you have to talk to your managers or supervisors and we'll see what they can do. So, if it's already affecting your family, your life, your mental health, your physical health, so you have to make a decision. Not now, not later, but you have to think of it first. Maybe a month. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that um, nakakatulong ako sa pag -decide. This is based on my experience, so it's really up to you if you will follow this but before you resign all i can say is that you have to think and think and think and think multiple times all right so thank you so much and please do not forget to subscribe and click the bell button for more updates thank you bye bye